Hello, Valencia Middle School students. I do have the second part of Lesson 18's video today. If you want to, here's the problems we're doing. You'll be doing in that problem set on page 82 and 83. You'll be doing problems one through five and number eight. So if you want to try those first and then watch the video, or some kind of combination of the two, or watch the video first and try the problems and practice them, it's up to you. But there'll be some schoology problems afterwards. All right. Number one, we have toy company redesigning its packaging and the new packaging is going to be it's a little different than the old packaging. The half inch on the old packaging is one third of an inch on the new packaging. So in the old packaging, a half inch will translate to a third of an inch in the new packaging. Well, it says the car length on this is going to be two inches long. So two inches translate to how much on the new package. Well, cross multiply what I can. One third times two gives me two thirds. And then take that answer, and I get two-thirds divided by one-half, keep change flip, and I get four-thirds or one and one-third. The new image on the new package will be one and one-third inches long. <clears throat> in St. Louis, they're creating a welcome sign, and the scale is one-half inch represents seven feet. Well, if the billboard itself is actually going to be 14 feet in height, will this actually fit? So let's go over to the picture here. This is one inch tall. So I'm going to figure out what that's going to translate to. So the scale is half inch is supposed to equal seven feet. So one inch will equal how many feet? Well, cross multiply what I can. Seven times one is seven. I divide my answer by one half. And seven divided by a half gives me 14. So yes, that billboard will fit perfectly on that 14 foot build. On a, uh, 14 foot image will fit on the 14 foot billboard. All right, number three. All right, we have a projector. We're trying to put an image on your little brother's wall. Where one inch is going to represent two and a half, what we might call 2.5 feet. So in the picture here, this is actually two inches long. So if one inch equals two and a half feet, two inch equals, equals how many? Well, two and a half or 2.5 times two gives you five. And then five divided by my leftover number, Five divided by one is five. So that mural is going to be five feet long. Number four, you have a model of a skyscraper has made that one inch represents 75 feet. So what's the height of the actual building? The height of the model is 18 and three fifths inches. Well, the scale is one inch equals 75 feet. 18 and three fifths, let's take three divided by five, and I get a 0 .6. 18.6 will be a little easier to use. I can cross multiply 18 and 18, or the 75 and the 18.6, I get 13.95. And then take my answer, divide it by my leftover number, 13.95 divided by 1, gives me 13.95. Actual height of the building is 1,395 feet. All right, number five. They have a portrait company is getting these big wall stickers um, made up for the Little League baseball team players. Your height in the portrait measures three and a half inches. That's what it's like right now. The scale is one inch in the portrait represents 20 inches in the wall decal. And they want to know if your actual height is 55 inches, that wall decal will be larger or smaller than you. Well, let's find out. The scale was one inch equals 20 inches. So on the sticker right now, your height's three and a half or 3.5 inches. So how much is that going to translate into? Well, cross multiply what I can. 20 times 3.5 gives me 70. 70 divided by my leftover number of 1 is 70. So the wall decal is going to be 70 inches tall, which is larger than you are. But you're only 55 inches tall, according to the problem. All right. Last up, we have a model of an apartment as shown where one fourth of an inch represents four feet in the actual apartment. That's what the blueprints would say. So if you measure this out, we're going to go with 9 sixteenths of a measurement here. And the bedroom here is 1 and 1 eighths inches across. All right, now we're going to get all these fractions. We're going to convert them to decimals. These are ones that we can actually convert. Easy. One-fourth, back from my original information, I'm going to use 0 0.25. Nine-sixteenths, if you take 9 divided by 16 in your calculator, you get 0 0.5625. And 1 and 1 eighth becomes 1 point. Take 1 divided by 8, and you get 0.125. So 1.125. Those are the numbers we'll use to make it a little easier on our calculators. All right, so our, on our original scale, remember how it's supposed to be a fourth of an inch represents 4 feet. Well, we said one-fourth, we're going to use 0 0.25. So 
0 0.25 inches is supposed to represent 4 feet. So then in that case, my 9 sixteenths here, the 0 0.5625 inches is going to be how many feet? Cross multiply 4 and 0 0.5625, and I get 2.25. And take that answer and divide it by 0 0.25, and that ends up being 9 feet. So this measurement here, the 9 sixteenths, becomes 9 feet. And same scale, 0 0.25 inches equals 4 feet. So the longer measurement of the bedroom, 1 and 1 eighths, or what we call 1.125 inches, is going to equal how many feet? Cross multiply 4 and 1.125, and I get 4.5. Divided by my leftover number of 0 0.25, and I get 18 feet. So my measurement here is going to be 18 feet. So the actual bedroom ends up being 9 feet by 18 feet. All right, so that's some of your examples from Lesson 18 now, and then you'll be able to practice some on your own in Schoology. Thanks for watching.